Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to talk about a new release titled from Alan and Unwin, Revenge of the Toxic Space Potato, an indefatigable Enviro Teen story by First Dog on the Moon. So this is a middle fiction graphic novel. It is full colour and it is really hitting that middle fiction market probably a little bit on the upper end probably from about age 10 just in terms of the content and while I think younger readers can read it perfectly fine and enjoy it I think there are elements within this story that definitely suit that slightly older age category because because while this is a superhero and adventure story it also has a few environmental themes running through it as well. The blurb on the black says spaceships, villains, fish, this book has everything. Letitia, Binky and Worried Norman are no ordinary teens. They are the superheroes better known as the indefatigable are of enviro teens. Unluckily they have been space snorkeled, sucked up by giant tubes, teleported through the galaxy, stripped of their powers and squeezed out on Mars? Forced to join the Great Snorkel Manufactory, the three teenagers overhear the evil Baron Kartuffle Poffin's plans to snorkel up all of Earth's water. It really sucks. Can their trusty sidekicks Stuart the Wobegong and Beverly the Sourdough Starter come to the rescue? So this is a story with a lot of humour, but also a lot of plot points and a lot of characters to keep track of. Here you have the Enviro Teens, some of our potential allies or villains, depending on what view you want to take. We also have a you the reader that interjects within the story which helps because the story kind of jumps right into the middle of what's happening and the reader goes hang on a second pause please can you introduce yourselves and so that's how we go through the story with lots and lots of moving parts and Stuart the Wobegong is one of our characters who is definitely trying to help out the Enviro teens and has to step up throughout the story when things get a little bit dicey. I believe that First Dog on the Moon is a known cartoonist and comic artist and they seem to do a lot of marsupial based sort of cartoons and they have a very distinctive style which is very fun and a little bit quirky. I did like that there is an environmental theme in here around water conservation and preservation of the environment. I probably would have liked a little bit more of it in the story because while I don't want to assume that readers of this would not have a deep understanding of it, I feel like they probably need just a little bit more but the artwork and the color choice and the humor that's used within it is definitely there to grip those particular audiences. One of my favorite things in the entire story is the creative use of wheelie bins, these things, as minions of doom for our toxic space potato. I just thought that that was very very clever. At the end of the book there's also a lot of bonus material like a glossary, facts about Wobbegongs, there's also a recipe that is mentioned within the book for strawberry freons, there's lots of maps for different places within the story and I thought that was just really fun. So I know that there is a first book that features some of these characters which I do need to check out at some point but I did have a lot of fun with this even though it's not necessarily my humour. I mean I'm definitely not the target audience but I did enjoy the story and I thought it was a really fun and different kind of superhero story for middle fiction readers. So I will leave links where you can find out more information about Revenge of the Toxic Space Potato and first dog on the moon down below if you want to check those out feel free to do so as well as links to the publisher. Thank you very much again to Alan and Unwin the publisher for sending me the review title of the graphic novel. I was very excited to try it out and to branch out and expand my graphic novel reading experience. In the comments I'd love to know if you have read anything by First Dog on the Moon or if you are planning on picking up Revenge of the Toxic Space Potato feel free to let me know. Otherwise feel free to share any of your favorite graphic novels down below. If you just want to let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment feel free to leave a star emoji and I hope that wherever you're in the world you're staying safe and healthy. I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.